Well, people living in and around a nursing home in Williamsville are fighting to stop it from closing because there's a big renovation project in the works. Two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik explains as we continue to hold people in power accountable. Uh, it's going to disturb the, uh, the green space, uh, the quietness, and uh, just the overall uh, comfort of the, the village. Williamsville neighbors showed up to Monday night's planning board meeting to find out about the latest changes to the proposed People Inc. project at Bloker Homes. Carolyn Schlifke has lived across the street for 68 years. To put so many more uh, families, um, couples in their cars, one or two to every apartment, the street can't handle it. Uh, I'm worried about the value of my property. People Inc. CEO told me several changes were made recently after meeting with neighbors. The curb cut on Village Point Lane has been eliminated. New parking behind the current building is no longer part of the plans. And instead of one new large building along Evans Street, it will be divided into three smaller buildings with green space in between. Neighbors aren't satisfied and are worried about the people who live there now. And I hate to see all those older people suffering, and they are. They are suffering, you know, to have to move, and I don't like the way the prop property will look. People Inc. told me that topic would be better addressed by Bloker. Beechwood, Bloker's parent company, would only give us a prepared statement that does not address what happens to current residents, saying in part, Bloker Homes has shared and will continue to share the most current information with neighbors, our residents, their families, and Bloker staff so that we can assist them in best preparing for new homes or continued employment opportunities should this repurposing initiative become a reality. The proposed project would convert Bloker Homes into 80 one-bedroom and 17 two-bedroom mixed-income affordable apartments. In Williamsville, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.